Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Also here it seems like we might be heading into target uh, directly without any stronger retracements. So that's what sometimes happens. Um, we had here looking back at the chart yeah, and comparing it to Bitcoin as well, probably a 1-2-1-2 setup eventually. Yeah? And um, <clears throat> in the, um, what I need, no, I need to change this. And I think we then had a very short third one second, is this actually, oh yeah, this is not valid, but the way I would need to do it, huh. just want to show you how this most likely is going to play out based on the latest price action here. Trend is clearly up as you, as you can see. Um, yeah, I think like this, and then we say we had a one, two here, a three, four, five, again, a very long five of three. Um, this might be finished and we might now be in a small fourth wave here. And we could still rally in another fifth of a third, would then get a fourth and a fifth. And that could take us straight into the 15, uh, sorry, into the um, $1,800 region, which was our which was our target anyway for um for this move up yeah and of course you know and that's sort of what i highlighted in the in the bitcoin video as well what i don't know at this stage obviously this is a very much extended move um is this here the completion so will this wave five and wave five of one be completed here or is it going to be the first wave of this fifth wave, we will come down in a wave two later, would then rally in a third, fourth and fifth. Depending on if we reach 1800, I will assume that probably the fifth is in, but we'll have an open mind and might scale up when we come down finally, see that larger pullback, um, <clears throat> that we might get a third wave of the fifth, yeah. So just to clarify that again, either the fifth wave will be finished here if it does everything that we wanted actually worked out here in this entire move, yeah. we saw that dip, dip coming, it reached our support area, it turned around, it rallied to 1800. That's what we've been talking about basically all of last week, Monday, yeah, yesterday. Um, and if we get there, theoretically, all of this is, con is, is done. It is unusual though, to see a move like this without any stronger retracements. It's just unusual. Um, of course, not impossible, but unusual. And because it's unusual, I'm thinking, do we maybe get this as a five wave move up, but will that be only the first wave of it? And do we get a much more <laughs> diabolical, um, crazy move like this? A one, two, three, four, five, and we get basically an extension of the fifth wave. That's what we need to see because the wave three was already very long, likelihood would suggest the fifth wave is not going to be extended, but we will see. Yeah? Um, think how you use that information for your own trading plan and management. What I do, I already took 20% of profits of the move that I entered down there at around 1485 or whatever it was, 75 and 1500 was another position I entered. Took 20% out, moved my stop loss into profit. I let it run now, probably until we get closer to 1800. I may then take a few more profits. It was then a really good week for me. Yeah. Um, I don't want to lose it all again. Okay. So um, we'll still probably leave my stop loss in place. And if that gets stopped out, it gets stopped out. But I took decent profits. Yeah. Within, within a couple of days, like um ethereum moving like depending on where we get to if we get to 1800 i mean 22 23 percent a couple of days is not bad yeah it's absolutely it's absolutely good plus the altcoins that i entered as well which are rallying at the moment um so i'm happy with that but i don't want to lose that so the idea was when i entered here that i'm trading the fifth wave that was part of my plan yeah these were not necessarily long-term core positions um so i'm i'm gonna watch what happens after this peak? Um, when we come down, I, I might add a support area that anyone who likes to take a bit of risk could enter in a hope to trade wave three or five. But it all depends on what plays out now. You know, we might be able to tell based on the structure what happens here now going forward, if that's likely or not. 
because what I would normally expect after this five wave move is that we're going to come down in the wave two, in the larger wave two, yeah? And I highlighted that in the Bitcoin video, be aware of the sentiment when everybody thinks it can't stop anymore and it will go higher and higher, that's typically when it peaks. And when it then comes down towards the end of the wave two, we will see all the bearish news and people will tell me when I say it will go up, no, 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 it can't go up. Same story that we had down here, where I did highlight it all would look much better if we had one more leg up and if we would get into an uptrend, yeah? At the time we talked about 1400, 1500, um, but uh, <laughs> and it, it became much more bullish, but still, you know, people didn't even acknowledge that because we were towards the end of a wave too. Yeah, it was all super bearish. You need to understand also when you analyze these, ch these charts, what do other people think and how do they trade? And then usually do the opposite. Um, if you are, if you want to be positioned on the right side of the sentiment. So also the Elliott waves tell us what is typically um, what is typically the sentiment that happens. If you understand a fourth wave here is typically um, disappointment yeah? and people are bored, disappointment for bullish investors. Um, the fifth wave is typically the peak of bullish sentiment. Um, that would explain why it's rallying like that. And if we come down in the wave two again, it will be super, super bearish. Yeah, People will talk about the death of exchanges and coins and everything going to zero. You don't hear that at the moment, right? Yeah, you don't hear it. So it will be interesting. Um, so that's what I'm watching out for. And I think this is sort of the count we have to go with at this stage. What I wanted to show you actually on the one hour chart is this fourth wave. I mean, if this is the correct count, things are moving quite quickly at the moment. Yeah, But if this is the correct count, what would we expect in terms of a retracement for this wave four? Um, just looking at this, if I've got the correct, if I've got the correct count here, just thinking from there to there. Yeah, I mean, in an ideal world, in an ideal world, you would expect it to come down to, um, you know, maybe sort of 1646 here, 23.6 fib. Um, but the way it looks now, it might not do that. But be aware if it comes down, it should now hold 1607. If it doesn't hold 1607, then it indicates that we are going to come down because it would break the 50% retracement. Yeah. Um, I also did read in the in the previous video, unfortunately, you know, I, I don't know, I, I obviously highlighted, you know, if we go below the 1568 level, that would be a level I would be watching because that's the previous swing low. Um, so dropping below that level might lead to a drop. Now we never broke below that level, yeah. Um, still, people took shorts. I, I don't know. You know, don't don't just short into an active uptrend. I mean, you need a signal, right? Otherwise, otherwise you're getting you're gonna be eaten up. You know, your portfolio. You don't short against the trend, or you don't ideally not long against the trend un unless you know what you're doing and unless the high level trend is up and so on. Um, but yeah, see, that's where we are. Um, be a bit flexible. You know, have your plan. Um, I think we could see a bit of a retracement, but this is at the moment behaving like a wave four here. Could still get that fifth wave of three and then move higher into the 1800 region. The moment it looks like we might do that without a stronger retracement. Sort of where we are. And um, again, everybody who took the opportunity early in the week, the, you know, these are the high probability entry points. Uh, if you then decide to trade anything on the shorter time frame, I mean, that's not really high probability anymore. That's sort of day-to-day -day stuff. Yeah, using the volatility. Um, that that's of course up to you. Uh, everything's up to you, really. But you know, these are sort of the the, the levels where we have high probability entries, and uh, either you use them or not. You know, and I can't promise they work out, but often they do. And uh, if they do, they they you know they have usually amazing reward to risk ratios. I mean, just imagine you entered here. And just imagine this this is going to be an extended fifth and we might talk, talk about two thousand dollars plus you know in this fifth wave right as a highlight maybe one two three four five an amazing reward to risk ratio and amazing trade so i'm going to be careful with taking too many profits don't want to take too many profits but i also don't want to lose everything i've gained this week so it's all about balancing that out a little bit and uh, i'm of course observing the charts and we'll keep you updated 
Okay, that's my update about um, Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.